All right. So please go for these the projects. Um, from there on, uh, we shifted up to do something else. Uh, this is to change the mind of our students. So let me present to you. My name is William. I'm from ITE College West. Our I will present our makerspace. It's our first makerspace in ITE, and we call it eSpace. Uh, we have two spaces. It's called Learn to Make and Make to Learn. The difference is Make, learn, make to Learn is we go deep projects, really deep projects that we have to, to, that have to spend time. Learn to Make is one hour projects, one hour lesson like Japanese, pedicure, makeup, Jap uh, Korean language. You used to just yeah, to call, uh, take on. So let me go on. So this year our team is uh, purposeful makers and hopefully they will become dream makers of tomorrow, even solve problems like stroke patient or uh, patient, patients that need help. So uh, I will go through the, these are three outline. Uh, we will talk about Generation Z and how do we approach to solve their problem. As mentioned yesterday, uh, two days ago in the opening, their attention span is really, really, really small. And uh, we will talk about the top 10 skills in 2020 that the students need to have, which is when they're age 20. And good news is, the only good news is, the Generation Z wants to change the world. That is what statistics tells us. So let us go through one by one. First, attention span by generation, Gen Y, is 8 seconds. Gen Z, to be exact, is 8, 2.8 seconds. That is a great, great challenge for us as educators. Before you can start good afternoon or good morning students, they are gone. <laughs> My students are there. You can ask them. They'll be on Instagram, Facebook. They are playing their games. They are chatting with your friends. And you need to get their attention. The only way is, no, you must like the horse, you know. You have the house bridle and make sure you confiscate their mobile phone. But we don't do that. Uh, so how will we engage them? They are digital natives, they are faster than us. Uh, they are entertainment addicts, they love Korean dramas and animes, and they are speed demon. Before we can say stop, they are already gone. So how do we solve this? Well, we solve this by engaging them in something that is uh, very interesting. And uh, we're going to show you a video, and this video, unfortunately, is in Chinese because it's by uh, Mediacorp Production, but we do have some English subtitle below. Please enjoy, and this is one of our solution. Well, you can imagine what kind of star battles I have in my makerspace. That's basically the makerspace and it just describes fully the, the type of skills we are... Students, please close your ears. These are the skills that we con them to learn. Okay, officially well then to, to move them forward. So besides, we, so we use uh, pop culture projects to attract them in to start to learn. Okay, besides that, if you do not like Star Wars, then you must be a fan of this. Have you ever watched this movie? No. no? 
All right, downstairs there's a replica of it, and the downstairs one is my our second prototype. I'm going to show you our first prototype, which is technically destroyed during Maker Fair two years ago. All right. So you can see during the two years ago Maker Fair, we have managed to uh, convince a lot of kids to be very good children <laughs> during the holidays. The reason why they promised me, you want to lift up the tall hammer, right? You want to be worthy, right? You promised me to be good students and good children for the next three weeks, you can lift up the tall hammer. And they basically, yes, mommy, I will. All right? So they actually did. But it was technically destroyed because it's made of plastics and, and it was totally destroyed. Then we built a new one, which is downstairs, that one. So if you need to uh, make sure your kids are obedient, please don't mind. You can approach me to T-loan the tall hammer back and make sure your kids are uh, good. So you can see, but we inculcate Autodesk Fusion, which is 3D drawing. Intel, uh, we use uh, Intel Edison as a web server. Uh, we also teach at ARM Codex M0, which is a, these are the latest skills that our students need to learn. And for those who do not like very uh, heavy stuff like Marvel and Star Wars, we have something soft like from Disney. All right, Beauty and the Beast. So this, let us watch this uh, video on the Beauty and the Beast. Is our enchanted rose, and this enchanted rose is basically a musical box. It may, can be controlled by your mobile phone through Bluetooth app inventor, and it's an excellent proposal present or to appease your angry wife. Perfect. And it's the first enchanted rope and powered by Intel, Intel Insight. All right. So basically, it's Arduino. We are using Intel Genino, and students can you learn uh, Autodesk Fusion and Android programming, which is the App Inventor. So anyone want to have this product to appease your wife or girlfriend, please uh, feel free to approach us later downstairs. <laughs> All right. So uh, of course, the next project that how we attract students. This is, I believe, how many of you played this before? Your kids have played this before. No? Okay, there are many, I believe, my students, they play. So what we did is we, we, we followed the Japanese and we learned from their design and we built an, an uh, Arduino version that can be controlled by Android apps. You can see the video is taken by my students and once it's spin, it can print words out. So we can teach students about gyroscope, we can teach students about astrometer, we can teach students the science of uh, programming also. Of course, uh, if, you, if you do not like this, well, the students do not like this project, we have another one that is motivated by this movie. Uh, and when we saw the balloons, we are deciding what we want to do with it. So we designed put a drone in it, an Android drone. And there's a microbit version, there's a, a Intel Curry version, and we flew it last year during our 25th anniversary in front of very important people and my students deciding the fate of my life. <laughs> to TPM, you know, and my CEO, everyone is there and say, Mr. William is a terrible teacher, I'm dead. <laughs> and So the next portion, the, this is my career nightmare because my students are flying this using their Android phone. So any time of these balloons drop on any VIP heads, which consists of industry leaders, ministers, you know what, I'll be dead, my head will roll. So very fortunately, I bribed my students well enough they did not, did not kill me. This is a priceless photo that we are, the students are very happy. You can see they enjoy the time. This is the photo we are looking out for. 
And this is the bonus. We appear on paper. Unfortunately, my photo is not there. <laughs> and the reason see, my, given by my student Kam Singh is that I'm not, you are not as handsome as him. <laughs> I'm very sad. So you can see that from here, we're able to engage students and bring them in to learn uh, skills of making and go deep so that we can solve real world problem. And the reason why we go use pop culture that is attract them to learn. And from there, actually, the students can learn these skills that the World Economic Forum have pointed out. These are thanks ten skills that they need in 2020. Okay, we go a quick rundown. Connective flexibility, negotiation, service orientation, judgment and decision making, emotional intelligence, coordinating with others, people management, creativity, critical thinking, complex problem solving, and that is the skills, the 10 skills they need to have. I think it's known to all of us through the internet. So let me summarize down here. And if you notice, um, what we are doing here in Makerspace, when you give them a project, basically they can sort of create, create in, internally, they can come up with all these skills on their own while working with a team. Open source projects also does the same. What we are doing upstairs, Hackathon also does the same. But how to sustain them? How to make them to continue to develop these skills? I think the answer is found in this, people. We introduce friends. We make them to have friends among the team and make them to have a community. So let me show a video how we do that. This is our learn to make. Uh, we teach them any other things besides electronics. So watch this video. Three, when I called you up, said I need you now because I'm losing patience. But for you and I'm getting all my dough. I said love is a two-way road. We don't care no more. I'm going crazy. Leave it you to sell. Forget it all. You can see a lot of Korean restaurants we need to go and a lot of pizza party. And Korea is a magical place for students. They will self actuate there. All right, so this is a clue. And that is, that's the reason why we bring them to places like Korea. We are going to bring them to Shanghai, even possibly Taiwan, to have Makerton and do projects together to continue to harness their skill. And that is talking about how to um, handle the problem of short attention span and the top 10 skills they need to have. Now, the good news, Gen Z want to change the world. 60% of them from this research saying that they want to change the world. And I hope this is what we want to do in eSpace after giving them the skills. And we hope that they can mimic this person that uh, Intel have done a very nice video. Uh, let, us, let, let me show you this video. When I was 12 in 2013, a flyer came to our doorstep asking for donations for the blind. That for a moment, I closed my eyes and I wondered, what would I do if I was blind? And I thought about all the things that I would miss, like my friends' faces, a football game, reading a book. I asked my parents, essentially, how do blind people read? They were quite busy at the time, so they said, go Google it. And that's where I found out all about Braille, Braille printers. You know, the normal cost for Braille printers is $2,000. It just got me thinking, there has to be a better option. That's what inspired me to try and build a new one. I started with the Lego robotics kit and yeah, I just went for it. It was challenging because I had to break down models, build models. It took some time. When I finished the Lego version, I made new designs, but I also needed a better brain. The design didn't cost too much, which was super important. Just made everything work together perfectly. And then I saw the first words come out. That's what really motivated me. So I felt like I could do something and help people's lives. I wanted to make more of these Braille printers, so we started a company. Within a year, we can we can start making hundreds and thousands of these. Yeah, you know, that's where I think we can start changing people's lives. 
the bending is cool because you don't really you need a factory, you don't have to be a certain age, you can do whatever you want to be. You know, as long as you have the right tools to do it, the right people to seek out, there's, you know, there's nothing you can't do. My name is Gabe. And that is the priceless experience that we want to give to our student. When they actually help somebody and that somebody felt being helped. So this is what we hope to achieve as we go on in our makerspace. So this is a summary of our makerspace movement in uh, eSpace. We want them to be purposeful makers, whether to make their own lightsaber or really a solution to solve a real world problem. So we use through maker projects, give them skills, make friends, give them the technology background, and hopefully they can sort of be solve real world problem and be involved in industry 4.0. Right? And we cannot do this without our partners. Force Asia definitely is there. Well, go, going back there before Yoda come out. Science Center is our close partner too. Intel, Autodesk, Harco, HomeFix, our Korean partners, even our Shanghai partners. These are our partners that we work closely to motivate our students. And of course, I start with Star Wars. Let me end with Star Wars also. My favorite video. Do or do not. There is no try. And this is really some truth. There's no try. You must, we must do it and inspire our next generation because they are the ones who are going to use the open source, all the, op all the technology you are harnessing now, they are the owners of tomorrow. So we need to inspire them. So let us go and inspire Generation Tech together and force Asia. Thank you. Do we have, uh, do we have time for questions? Anyone, you feel free to ask questions. Yes, anyone? Yes. I'm curious, what's the gender balance? Ah, you can see the gender balance right in front of you. <laughs> uh, well, uh, normally our intake will be in a typical class, there's around 20% of girls. It is quite reasonable. We are seeing more and more uh, ladies coming into the engineering faculty. That, that's something that we see. Yeah. <laughs> It's good news for the boys, no? They, mm. Okay. Any more questions? Would the, yes. Would students coming into IT choose engineering as one of their first choices? Or? Uh, the answer is they hate engineering. <laughs> so, so how do you take the additional job of motivating them to like something that they need? Uh, yeah, that's the reason why our e-space, our maker space is like a tourist spot. All the secondary school students have to come in and we build a special room for Nerf guns and using and playing a game and using IoT to show them that engineering is can be fun. We have a space academy escape room. So please do come and visit us if you want. Yeah, is it, is that John? It's a club now. Why have you not been able to, or have you tried to integrate with the curriculum and all the good teachers? Oh, it is not a club. It's not, a, uh, it's not a club, it's outside the curriculum, but I can give them uh, uh, what we call it CCA points, but it's not a club. They are supposed to come in on their own. And yes, our, our management feels that our eSpace is like a sandbox to experiment. And if things are really going very well, they will adopt it and throw, put it inside the main curriculum. Yes. I hope I answer your question. Any more questions? Yeah. Any more? Thank you very much. I'll be around uh, the, the booth later. Uh, if you want to know more about eSpace, go to our Facebook website. Our Facebook is uh, eSpace CW. All right. Thank you very much.